Hello everyone. My name is Harsh and a very warm welcome to all of you in this AI assistant app in Flutter and in this video we are going to start implementing dark theme functionality into our application. So let me show you first how it looks. So when you click on this now, you will see our application is completely converted into dark theme. So I am going to divide this portion in two videos. In this video, we will design our app for the dark theme. Okay, we will do all the necessary changes for the dark theme. And in the next video, we will allow this functionality to toggle according to our requirement. Okay, and save it. So let's just start. So first, we need to just clear the data of our application because we need to implement it from the onboarding. So simply go into our app info and just the storage and I'm just gonna clear this data so I can see the onboardings as well. Now I am just launching the app. Okay. Now, as you can see, we have a splash and then we move to our onboarding. Now, first thing is uh, I want to shift my application to dark theme rather than this light theme. So what exactly I will do is I can mention here something called as dark theme attribute inside our my apps. Okay, we have already created a default theme that is mainly our light theme. And what I will do inside this is uh, actually I can just copy all this stuff from here and the same theme data I can pass here okay and for now let it be and press control save and one more thing that I will set here is theme mode so inside theme mode we specify which theme we want to use there is a light there is a dark and there is a system uh, system means the current theme of the phone is used okay so currently I am just using dark and now if I press control save now, uh, you will see nothing much happens. Uh, the thing is, we need to specify brightness dark inside this theme. So how we can do that? So simply inside this, I can specify the attribute called as brightness and simply brightness dot dark. And now if I press control save, you will see the whole application is converted into dark theme. So I will just rerun the app from here to see the splash and as you can see the splash is already converted into dark theme so it looks good to me and we have to worry about this onboardings so we will start with the onboardings now first thing is uh, actually i require a text color okay so as you can see this bottom text color i want to change it according to our theme and you may see this color is automatically changed because we haven't used any color inside that text field if you observe it carefully so simply above we haven't given any color to the title that's why it is automatically changed to the theme we have given a color to this text that's why it has not automatically changed so if i just remove that color and press ctrl save now you will see it also changes but actually i want a bit lighter shade of this color not the, this much dark so what we will do so actually i will create a custom theme object here which will extend this theme data so I can simply write here extension because I want to do some extension on this theme data because I want to add my own colors and I can just call it app theme. You can name it the way you like and simply on theme data and simply like this and inside this we can create our own colors. So simply I can write like color and I can call it text color and this text color will be actually a getter function. Okay and simply an arrow operator after that uh, i can check brightness so this theme data by default has an attribute called as brightness and this brightness is picked from this theme data so if the brightness is equal to dark now so i will check it like this if brightness dot brightness dot dark in this case i want this light text color rather than text color i can call it light and text color okay and simply colors dot and I can use this shade white 70 if it is dark or else I just want to use colors dot black 54 that is our normal shade that we are using there so simply like this and now if I just press ctrl save nothing happens because I have to use this so what I can do is simply inside our onboarding here instead of this black 54 I will just remove the const because we can't use const here if we are using the theme like this and I need to write it like this theme dot of context dot and if I just search here light text theme 
and you can see it here so simply we can import this okay and we can press Control save now you will see it is looking like a bit of fight and it looks good so now the next thing here is I just want to change the color of this button if I wish so what I can do is I can similarly create an attribute for the button color so like this so simply I have created a button color and in this I have just used cyan color for this dark theme so we will see how it looks so inside our widgets we have a custom button and we just need to set color to this button and it will be automatically applied to all so I can use color so background color and simply here theme dot off context and dot button color okay and now if I press control save you will see the color of this is bit changed actually this is looking bit too bright to me so what I will do is I will use a bit of opacity with this dot opacity and simply let's say 0.5 percent and control save so this looks good to me in the dark theme uh, you can use any color you like that's up to your choice so our onboardings are ready for the dark theme now if I just click on this finish now you will see our status bar is not ready for the dark theme so we have to change this though so inside our main simply above actually we have given some background color to this so I will remove this color and another thing I think this is also not working as expected so I will remove this color from here to this blue color and I don't want blue icons I just want white icons and if I press control save you will see nothing much happens now I think we need to do something inside our home screen oh we have given a static background color to it so I will remove this okay as well as I will remove this all the attributes from here because we want to pick up these attributes from our main theme okay so simply home screen and I can just remove this center title and elevation and simply control save now you will see the color of AI assistant is also changed and now this icon color is not looking that good so I want it to be white so I will just remove this blue attribute from here because by default we have mentioned blue inside this main for the light theme and dark we have not mentioned anything so it will pick white color and it looks good so our home screen is also designed according to dark theme now if I click on AI bot and see here uh, this doesn't look that good our text field and I think this button can also be a good looking as well as this message border so now inside our chatbot feature and now since we have already created a kind of a button color we can use that color here so inside the circle of that by default color is blue so we have already created a theme for our button color so theme dot of context dot and we can simply use button color and simply control save and now this looks decent now we just need to change color for this uh, text field so I can create a separate color for the text field though okay so what I can do is actually if you observe the text field now here simply above we have used a white color so actually we can use a default color though so like this theme and I can just remove this const dot of context and I can use the primary color of the theme or I can use the scaffold background color so if the scaffold background color is black use black for this if it is white use white for this and simply control save and this also looks decent now the thing is I also want to give color to this message card so simply message card inside this border attribute so I can specify a color so like theme dot of context dot and I can use border yeah let's say light text theme color will do the work for us so light text color and it looks decent now we just need to do for the user profile as well so simply here and I can use same theme dot of context dot light text color okay so this screen is also ready for the dark theme now if I just go back and go to AI image creator this already looks decent okay now if I just go back and this time if I just go to language translator this is also ready now the bottom sheet is not ready for that so we need to change color of this bottom sheet so I can just go to language sheet and simply where I have mentioned this white color okay I can just mention theme dot of context 
dot scaffold background color and I can remove this constant press control save and this looks good okay so our I think our whole application is ready for the dark theme okay we can just observe it and it looks decent okay if I just go back and if I just change the theme to light let me see if we have messed something up while changing this theme so let me do it one for light too and light theme is already looking decent no changes here and okay and that's it okay we are able to change theme statically in the next video we will give the functionality to do it dynamically and we will also store the user theme okay so that's it for this video see you in the next video till then bye bye